Okay, I just learned something that I found very exciting that I probably should have known already, and a lot of you may already know this, and and uh, if you're more uh, in-depthly involved in Vim than I am, Vim is a text editor I use quite often, and it has a whole lot of features, um, but I only use the very basic functionality of it, and really I should learn to use it better. I have gone through Vim Tutor, which comes with Vim, and, but I went through it once, like two years ago, and, and haven't really looked at it since. But I did just find out that Vim uh, does have auto-completion uh, features built into it. This is something that um, I'd never really thought about before, but I should have, and it crossed my mind. I googled it and found out that it does have some auto-complete features. So let's go ahead and jump into Vim. I'm just going to create a blank file here. And I'm going to hit I for insert, and I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to pretend like I'm writing out a script. We'll say it's a Python script, so we'll start off with our shebang line like we always with a Python script here. And we'll say we'll import GTK, and then let's say I want to create a variable, and I'm going to call this variable very much. And we'll say that equals today. Now, if I want to use that variable, I can start typing something like, uh, v E R and I can hit control X and then control P and you can see it auto completed that for me um, so I can do that again I can just type in V control X control P and it auto completes but let's say we have another variable such as very soon and we'll say that that's tomorrow now I can start typing I can hit V then I'll hit control X control P and you can see that there's a list of words and I can he keep hitting control P and scroll through the list and choose the one I want so we'll say very soon in this case and then I'll just keep on typing I can once again type V control X control P and go through the list now if you don't type anything and you hit control X control P it pretty much gives you a list of all the words you've typed that you can scroll through using uh, you know, control P to go through them, or you can use your arrow keys until you get to the one you want, and then hit enter. Um, so just like we have today and tomorrow, if I wanted to do, uh, you know, tomorrow I can type TO control X control P, and there's tomorrow. If I want to be today, I can hit control P again, and I can keep hitting that till I get to the one I want, and then I can just hit space and continue typing whatever. So this is, this is, very simple. I'm very surprised I didn't know about this, but once again, I really haven't used Vim nearly to the extent that it's capable of using. I use it as a very, very basic functionality, the text editor portion of it, and I don't haven't really uh, played with it much. And I uh, really think now that I, and I, I've always thought this, I should. And as I do, if I make the time to, and I learn stuff, I'll share it with you. So hopefully, uh, if you didn't know about this, you do now, and you'll find it uh, very useful. And I hope that uh, you enjoyed this quick tip tutorial. I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And once again, have a great day.